So, Eid Mubarak guys, everybody who is celebrating today, it is a very sunny day guys and of course let's get into some Love Island topical videos where well, we have Chris Hughes who is getting some backlash for his tweets about India. Hey guys, it's Marab Marali, hopefully you guys are all doing well today, back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button, daily and consistent content, consistent and persistent baby, inject it and let's get into this quick fire video. Now before we do that, fit check, fit check, fit check, let's do a quick fit check guys. I love this hole, you know, we got some nice white trousers as well. And then of course, you know, we have the long fit and we also have the beautiful scarf, which I think goes well with it. Not really going to be wearing the scarf as much, it's quite hot, but of course it goes with the fit, guys. It goes with the fit. Yes, yes. Anyways, let's get into this video. Um, Chris Hughes is obviously getting it a lot because of things that he is talking about when it comes to... Um, India and you know it's just the, the things that he's saying he's saying to about her why are you so bitter if you're walking in with someone else Jesus Christ man um, and then you know someone then he continued to say that she was raging now I mean she looked raging before he even said anything now India was not in any capacity raging at the idea of you know coming back in i don't think she was at all she was smiling at first and of course then she came with the quick remarks when you know dami likes to talk and he was doing that a lot as well so i don't think in any way she was raging i think it's a very strong word to use for india because i don't think that she was displaying those emotions in really any capacity let's be real um and i think that the words that chris Hughes is using here also needs to be put into question because they seem to be very sus um, somebody's found a tweet of his where he said, um, your white girls look after themselves better than black girls, you know, and of course, you know, that is now being related to this because, you know, it, what's going on here? I mean, you, are, you, I mean, if, if we really want to keep it buck, you dated Jesse Nelson. So, you know, to say that she's bitter, um, walking in with someone else, you know, as if any, anybody else isn't bitter. As in Tasha's not bitter, Andrew's not bitter, you know, um, Dami's not bitter. And then to say that she was raging. I just feel like if you're exaggerating it, you're making it something as if it wasn't because nobody was raging. Raging is fake. Guns blazing, screaming, shouting, backing us. That is raging. That is what you would describe as somebody with the justified emotions. She wasn't raging in any way here. So I think that these words you, you're using are very questionable and are not a reality of what took place here. I want to reiterate that. It's not a reality of what we all saw. And I just think that he is now, well, he's getting backlash for this. People are like, you know, well, what's going on? Old tweets and our surface. This is what somebody else has said as well. Because, you know, I just feel like a lot of these islanders now, ex-islanders are reporting on, you know, Love Island these days. Um, and, you know, do it if you want to. Anybody's entitled to speak on the show. But I just think that, you know, sometimes they get it so wrong and you would think that they would get it so right because they were in the villa themselves, but apparently not. But getting a lot of backlash because I don't think he was bit, she was bitter or raging. The word raging, the more I say it, it irates me because she wasn't raging anywhere in the villa. So what are you talking about? I don't understand. Would you be using the word raging for Tasha? Would you be using the word raging for Paige? Would you be using, you didn't even use the, would you be using the word raging for any of the Casa Amor blonde girls? No, you wouldn't. But when the black girl comes in, you're saying that she's raging. This word, you need to come and correct your tongue that the Lord has given you because nobody is raging. Like, there's no raging here. Raging is dashing up chairs, doing up love and hip hop. That's raging. So... I don't understand what you're doing. Very unnecessary. Very, very unnecessary. And quite disappointing because I liked him on, the, on his show and on his season. So for him to be moving like this, I don't understand. Continue to dance with your horses, whatever you're doing now. Anyways, let me know your thoughts are, guys, when it comes to this video. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Subscribe, 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 guys. Click that button. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.